Welcome back guys to The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, where mistakenly last episode I kept referring to the gigantic ghost in Mario fashion as a boo. Boo 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 hoo. Of course it's a Poe for Zelda and I'm an idiot. Moron. Let's go find out Medley's new sage powers, because of course that was what we were here for, to restore the power of the sages and restore the power of the master sword. Will Medley become a true sage? Find out as I step into this mysterious triangle. God, I'm weird sometimes. Most of the time. Ah, Medleys, nice to see you caught up with us. And most importantly, haven't been face hugged by a wall, uh, floor master yet again. Let's go. I'll take the. Oh, we're sticking the sword in it. We're not teleporting out. Let's get ready. Music start. The prayers of the Earth Sage have restored the Master Sword's former energy. There is but one last step before it becomes the true Master Sword once again. Olives, the power to repel evil is not yet fully awakened. To complete the awakening of the Master Sword, you must go to the Wind Temple for one more prayer. Now, Olives. Step into the light behind you and return to the surface. Your next duty is to find the Sage of the Wind Temple. I will remain here and continue to pray. That's a lonely, solitary life. You must hurry. I knew it. It was a teleporter in the end. And all is. Um, about Prince Kamali. Please watch over him for me. No one says you have to stay here forever. Just walk over to a floor master. It'll suck you to the start. It's the easiest way to do it. Get there. And then you can fly back. It's fine. We're out with our master sword. Newly kind of like, well, the... What do you call it? The hilt is kind of expanded? Man, how many times do you reforge this sword over the series? It's ridiculous. Let's go. King of Red Lines. Give us the up... No story, King? No, no lecture? No, no, oh, good job, Ollis. You've done this and that. Nothing, 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 no? Well, I hit you too. Right then. <laughs> map, map time. Let's look at my seed charts, because of course we've got two new ones. It might actually be time to start trying to collect the tingle charts, to be honest. Not the tingle charts, the triforce charts. They may as well be the tingle charts, because they force us to have to see that goon. That's Bomb Island, probably. Looks like a bomb, smells like a bomb, probably is a bomb. And... Five I Island, I guess? The Reef? With that being said, actually, let's check the Triforce chart. Oh, no, no, wrong button again. Why? Yes. Okay. Incredible chart! Right, we have the two on that side. There's actually one on our home island, strangely enough. Oh no, that's below our home island. We are actually in the sector where we could explore this entire little corner of the map and pick up three Triforce charts, but of course we've got to think about the one that's on the ghost ship as well. So, with that in mind, and with the wind probably facing a direction that is not the way I want to go, which way is it going? It's going east. It's time to change the wind. That's the first thing to do. I sound so indecisive right now. I know what I want to do. It's just implementing it in my mind and moving forward. West. 
journey to the west yet again. I love how that Z button never changes. From being my sail. It's always my sail and always will be my sail. Nothing else ever. But right, on the map it is actually Outset Island this tri Triforce chart is on. Interesting. Whereabouts? Whereabouts is the real question. Plus some kind of boat on the waves over there? I know we're travelling in a different direction so therefore it looks like it's travelling too. Where on earth am I going to find this Triforce chart? We've kind of stumbled upon the other ones. But not this one. Have we ever checked the map fish here? We never needed to check him because he was... Well, it's, it's always been on our map. But maybe he can give us the information we require. Map fish, you're over there. Cool. Where are you? Oh, yeah, you are there. Cool. The amount of seagulls around that wash down makes you think, Ah, oh, squid's gonna come out. It's gonna happen. Sir, do you have a clue? The funny thing is, I'm unsure if I've activated you or not. Maybe we did talk to you at one point in time, but these fish, they blur into one another, if you know what I mean. What's we're using the same bait all the time? Okay, we've already talked to you. Oh, well, such as... So you want to hear info? Yes. Beneath the big head boulder on top of the hill here on Outset is where the greatest treasure of all, the great Golden Triumph Forks, are buried. You might have misheard something because one guy told me that what was actually buried beneath that weird rock was a chart to the shard of something called a Triforce. Okay, cool. Triumph Forks and Triforce, I mean, I think someone intentionally buried something misleading there. Well, you've given me the info, I obviously did speak to you before. Oh, we're, we're talking about my bow now? Yeah, it's a fine looking bow, I know. Where'd you get that? If you're not in any kind of... What? Play game? Uh, yeah? I'm confused by you, Mapfish. I should have been speaking more about what you said. You've actually said different stuff than the rest. Hoo-hoo, of course you will for I. To be honest, you'll be helping me out. See, I've been having some ferocious body aches that only acupuncture can cure. Okay. Check it out. I'll give you ten arrows for that bow of yours, and I want you to aim those suckers at me when I leap out of the sea. Yeah, see if you can't peg me with them. For each arrow you nail me with, I'll give you 10 rupees, and if you hit me with all 10, I'll give you 200. No heart pieces? What, you worried about little me old me fry? Ha, ah, don't be, I'm a man fish. I've spent my life being tough enough by seas rougher than any you've ever seen. Those arrows of yours ain't got nothing on me. Get ready for start, smy. Small fry, why'd I mix it up and say smry? Right, why are you now, fish boy? Ha ah, ha ha! Shot. Oh, this would be easier with a Wiimote, that's for sure. Gotcha. Somehow. Some way. I will make it. Ah, because it we see you in the water. Okay, cool. Right, we follow you in the water. Right, you're going to come out over here, maybe. And you're going to jump that way. Okay, cool. And that was a bad fail. So no 200 rupees for me, that's for sure. So maybe this is just what happens when you give him uh, the bait twice. Oh god, I fired that well early. Right. Yeah, got you that time. You like your acupuncture then. You're really high, sir. Ah, is it that stone head you mean? Gotcha. How many did I get? It's like seven? I think I missed two or three. Oh, look at you, full of arrows. You only hit me seven times. Oh, well. 70 rupees, yeah. 70 rupees for one bait. That must be what happens when you throw two lots of bait at the guy. Okay. And knowledge, knowing is half the battle, as they say. Oh, I have mail! Onward! To mail! People love it when I use that catchphrase. And I love the fact that someone's actually got the username onward to mail and I had to just say his name. Good morning! Letters for all is we have one letter. Here is your letter. 
This parcel has been sent cash on delivery. Postage due is 10 rupees. Okay, I guess. Yo, how you been, man? I gotta tell you, you really helped me out back here at the Mel Center. I appreciate it. I've been trying real hard ever since then, but my postman skills are still weak. I just can't seem to hit 22 letters. I doubt I'll ever be as good as you, man. So anyway, I've been hearing all kinds of crazy tales about you, and I figured I just had to write you a letter. It sounds like you're doing some pretty amazing stuff, man. You're great. You're awesome. You're the man, man. You can probably tell that I had no idea what to write, but hey, I figured the least I could do would be to send you a letter of encouragement and make me pay for it. When you live at the mail center, you get. So yay, man, yay, go, man, go, go, go. Never give up, never lose hope, never surrender. And while I don't make much, ah, okay, that's better. I'm sending you the wages I've earned lately. Just do my part, hope it helps. I'm really sorry I had to send this COD, yeah. But I guess that's the price of fame. Take care. What's the price of fame? Thanks again, boss from Beto. Well, I made a 10 rupee profit. And if that's all your wages, you're doing really bad at your job. I got way more money than you from that. Not to brag or anything. Hello, monstrous pig guy. You're very big. Oh, well, as you made it back, say, Alice, do you remember the day you first caught this oinker and brought him over here? Just look at that thing. Isn't he a lot bigger more now than the last time you saw him? And not just bigger, he's a lot heavier too. Say, Alice, is there any way you could pick him up and take him for a walk for me? I really appreciate it. My back is just killing me. We're off on an adventure. We're taking you for a walk. Fly, piggy, fly! Yep. Stop whining. Mind you, I didn't think about that too well, did I? How am I supposed to take him for a walk? It was going to take me an age just to get him back to the pen. I really should just not have chucked him off. Roll him at the lady with the jar. Things won't go bad, I'm sure. Well, definitely as fast as a chuck the pig. That lady's like, what on earth is going on? This is called walking the pig. I make him do a barrel roll. Give me a pig. Right, we've walked. Do we get paid for this? Paid for chucking your pig around? I'm really there. It's cool. I got this, bro. There, your pig went for a walk. It's all cool. You, you know, well, to be honest, we named him after you. Ah, oh, why'd you name this pig after me? He's very smart, just like you. And just like you, when you feed him some bait, he starts digging with all his might until he digs up treasure. Wait, you don't do that? I'm still having trouble believing that you were able to lift our pig up over your head like that. You're so burly. I'm burly, but... We have to give you bait and you'll dig up stuff for us? That sounds good. Where, though? Maybe like that big brown patch of dirt that he was originally around. Come here, sir. You're now our friend. Next time, by the way, I'm also not bringing you back. Fly, pig, fly! Okay, pig, 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 is, pig is angry and pig hurts. Pig hurts and is angry. Run, 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 run. Can you get me in water? Uh, uh. Okay, you've cooled down. Cool pig. Right. We can be friends, yes? Friends? Friends? Right, cool. Okay, you cool down. We're all cool. You actually did six hearts of damage with two hits. Oh no, I'm drowning! <laughs> this is going horrifically. What's going on with me? Pig, we need you on land. We we had a duty for you. I guess chucking you around did damage you in the end. I didn't hit you. It's a bit of a whiner, pig. Now tell me if I get you back on land, you're not going to rage at me. Right, cool. So we know not to chuck you around anymore, at least off really big cliffs. But we're also really slow like this, and it's kind of boring. Where do we make you dig, sir? Anywhere? E everywhere? We just chuck bait? I'm looking at that big patch of ground we found you on as... a circle of life type thing, if you know what I mean. If we put you there, will you dig it out? And Because that's your favourite place, even though it looks very rocky and... yeah, and stuff. 
dig it, sir. Would you like to dig it? Dig stuff for us, you treasure hunting. Oh, he is going in. Hey, cool. Well, 20 rupees, and then he went skits. Right, so there must be some place to dig that we can get something nice. Pig, there's bait here. I gave you some bait. Use the bait, sir. The main problem I have is that if I anger you again, I'm slightly... No! This is not your bait, this is my bait. Pig, why, why, why are you not love? Oh, here we go. Dig into the flowers, give me some arrows. Right, I have a feeling he might be used for something better than what we're getting from him. So if you know, please tell me. It's basically all I have to say about the matter. And mainly the fact that, man, that guy took so many of my hearts, it's wrong. So is this Triforce chart we're looking for over here? We need to pick up a gigantic stone head. Now there was one this way, was there not? We can definitely see something round there. Actually, is, isn't the wind already going this way? Yeah, the wind is going this way, isn't it? So we should be able to just fly over there without changing the wind, he says. Right. Now I'm over here. Is there any massive head thing? No. There's a heart, so I'm happy with that. Um, so I just fly over here for nothing but one heart. I'm sure there was a head, like, it must be further up. This is one of those never-ending failure sodes, isn't it? The ones that I consistently mess up on. Well, I better get some results before this episode ends, otherwise I'm going to rage at myself. At the moment, all we've had is some pig-walking beating me up and nearly killing me. A pig must be useful for something. Maybe I should go look it up. Maybe I should. Oh, it's more fun to get you guys to tell me exactly what it is. Audience participation, always good. Right, so he said on top of the thing, Fairy Fountain was involved. I wasn't reading properly after I figured out that I'd already talked to him before and then I'd already skipped past the bit. There's the head, it's really high up. There might not be any enemies here, like Dene Nenez. Now I'm waiting for the irritating noise. No, none of you? Well, the music got silent when we moved away. Ooh, is this a place I make him dig? Would I really have to bring him up this far? Ho oh, ho! Oh, so close! If only I could fly to the top of that hill! If only! Beneath that rock head, the tri- Ah, okay. We're going that away. That away! Can I even reach? That's my main issue right now. Can I even reach on this much magic? Well, I, I don't have- I can't find myself- Ah, here we go. It's magic. But can I even reach? The wind is going my way, that's for sure. Well, that might be the wrong button there. That would be the Wind Waker and not the Deku Leaf. There's definitely... I'd say these patches are pig patches. So I said bringing the pig to the top possibly would give me something really nice. For the utmost perseverance. Let's put it that way. For the utmost perseverance. Just like knocking that guy around 500 times will give me something nice. And give me an, a rank upgrade or something like that. Outset Island, you are a weird place. We've we've flown to you and done weird things and not really got much done in the way of actually progressing the game. In breaking my legs, maybe. Right, I don't think I can reach that. So, with that said... Fly, Link, fly! Well, maybe I can. Uh, no. I'm going to run out of magic halfway there. So close, but yet so far. Can I? 
Oh my god, I, I just barely might make it. Yeah. Hooray! For some reason, I expect to see a blue chew there. We have lift off. We got there. We got there this episode. There was progress. Hooray! There was no rupees in there, but there was progress. And something else apart from progress. The Savage Labyrinth. Deep in the never-ending darkness, the way to the golden shard you seek awaits. Oh no, tell me this is not like the endless caves of... Before, if you know what I mean. Twilight Princess playthrough, eat your heart out, we going through yet another? A labyrinth type thing? Another multi-episode spanning dungeon battle extravaganza, so maybe join me next episode and we will take a plunge deeper and deeper into this savage labyrinth. See you around guys, thanks for watching.